So let's try number nine. We'll identify that our hypotenuse is 16. It's across in the right angle. And these two will be our legs, A and B. So our equation is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's going to be the square root of 145 squared plus B squared equals 16 squared. The square root of 145 squared is 145 plus B squared equals 16 squared is 256. So solving for B squared, subtract 145 from both sides. B squared is going to be equal to 111. Square root both sides. B is going to be approximately 10.54 inches. The second objective is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. And what this says is if three side lengths of a triangle satisfy the equation a squared plus b squared equal to c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. So when we say converse, we mean the exact reverse of the original statement. So the original statement was if you had a right triangle, this relationship exists, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This one's saying if you have three side lengths in a triangle and it satisfies this equation, then we know it's a right triangle. So it's the exact opposite direction. Um, we've changed the if-then statement. Um, so we're, we're going to be looking at this three side lengths, whether it's a picture, diagram, or just a list of numbers. You're going to determine if it's a right triangle, yes or no. And you determine that by finding the sum of the legs, the squares of the legs, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. If the two sides are equal, then it turns out the triangle is a right triangle. If the two sides are not equal, then it is not a right triangle. Still a triangle, but just not a right triangle. So we look at the first example here. We have 12, square root of 226, and the square root of 82. Um, this is going to be our possible hypotenuse. Okay, this looks like our possible right angle, so this is going to be our possible hypotenuse. These are my two legs. Okay, so we're going to plug these numbers in, and if this side equals this side, we can check it off and say yes, it is. If they're not equal, though, you're going to go ahead and say no. It's going to be 12 squared plus the square root of 82 squared equals the square root of 226 squared. 12 squared is 144. The square root of 82 squared is going to be 82. And the square root of 226 squared is just 226. So if you add these two numbers together, 144 and 82, if you get 226, this is going to be turned out to be a right triangle. And when you type this in your calculator or calculate it on the side, you do in fact get 226. And because these two sides are equal, it's yes, it's a right triangle. Sorry, I wrote 222 accidentally. It should be 226 equals 226. If these were unequal, like if I did actually write 222 and it was correct, these this wouldn't be a right triangle. It'd just be some other kind of or some other kind of triangle besides a right triangle. Now, if this was in a diagram, you'd be might be confused as to which one's going to be your uh, hypotenuse. So let's look at an example like um, this one here, number two. You have nine, five root three, and fourteen. Now between these two numbers, 9 and 14, 14 is going to be the larger one. So we probably would pick that over 9 for our hypotenuse. However, do we know exactly what 5 root 3 is? And since we probably don't have that memorized, you can go ahead and type in 5 root 3 to get an approximation. So it's 8.66. 8.66 is clearly less than 14. So we're going to call this one C because it's the longest. 
Remember that? This is going to be A, this is going to be B. So, we're going to do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's going to be 9 squared plus 5 root 3 squared equals 14 squared. 9 squared is 81. Here you're going to do 5 squared and root 3 squared. So 5 squared is 25. Root 3 squared is going to be just 3. And 14 squared is 196. 25 times 3 is 75. So if 85 plus, sorry, 81 plus 75 is equal to 196, we have a right triangle. If they're unequal though, we don't. 80 and 75 makes 150. 1 and 5 makes 6. 156 doesn't equal, doesn't equal sign or not equal sign, 196. So you're going to put not a right triangle. because they're unequal. So, two sides of the equation are equal, yes it's a right triangle. Two sides of the equation are unequal, no it's not a right triangle. And if you need to determine which one's going to be your longest one, simply just approximate this with the calculator. Type it in to see what kind of decimal you get. So, we've done the two objectives. We have found missing sides using Pythagorean theorem. That was our first. We did an example of that on our front page here. Plugging in the numbers we know, solving the ones we don't, using a square root. The second objective was to test to see if three side lengths actually made up a right triangle. If the two sides of the equation are equal, then it's a yes. If the two sides of the equation, are, equation is unequal, then it's going to be no, not a right triangle.